Hi guys, Epic Spotty 456 here, and I'm just wanting to record a quick video uh, as an update for the Spider-Man Birth of the Legend movie. And filming is going to start this weekend, it's going to be probably posted this weekend. So, yeah, I got that. Like, I finished everything, like, I've got and printed out all, like, the script and stuff. Don't try to pause that, y'all probably won't be able to read it with how quickly I slid it across the screen. But, yeah. Just a little quick update. Also, uh, if you're wondering who the villain of the movie is going to be, I know it may sound a bit unoriginal, but the villain I chose was the Green Goblin. The reason I chose the Green Goblin wasn't to copy anybody else. But I just I asked my brother, my older brother, who he wanted to play, since he's gonna be like the actor, it's like the bad guy slash actor slash stunt double. Well, not stunt double, but he's gonna be the main bad bad guy actor while I'm the good guy actor. So I wanted to have him like have a role in making the script, and he said he wanted to play the Green Goblin. So that's why the Green Goblin's in the movie. So yeah, that's why the Green Goblin's uh, the villain for the movie. But it is my own twist. Now, it isn't going to be Norman Osborn. It's just some unknown person. But yeah, I don't want to spoil too much of the story. But yeah, it's just a quick origin story. So, yeah, that's about all. Also, aside from the script, I also have a basic story. I have the story for me, and also like the voice script, and I'll read you the first tiny bit of <clears throat> I'll read y'all the opening bit. So, story. Taking place a few weeks after Uncle Ben's death, he's never seen the movie. By taking a few weeks a few weeks after Uncle Ben's death, his killer has not been found, and a new terror is stalking the city, the Green Goblin. And crime is up to, at the rise. And that's just like a little snippet of like the opening or the my script that I, the story for it. So yeah. But yeah. And I know I don't really use that much, I didn't use any music in my trailers. I'm going to try to add a bit of music since I'm going to have my friend. He said he can edit clips together. So I'm going to record it clip by clip or scene by scene. And then I'll have him like edit the clips together. Then I'll ask him like, you know, edit in songs at certain points and stuff. I have asked permission for on from some music creator on YouTube. If I can use their music, if I credit them, I haven't gotten word back from them yet. And if you're wondering who the music creator is, it's Oni Inc. But um, I would say that uh, children shouldn't check out their channel because they do have a bunch of foul language. So that's that. They're a really good music creator, so I'm wanting to credit them for their work if I do. If they. I'm wanting them to say if I can. If they say I can't, then I'll find a replacement song to maybe use. And also, I'll probably use some copyright, good copyright-free music because I don't want to use a copyright strike, but I also want to have some music in there for you guys. So yeah, this is a quick, a quick, a quick, a quick um, overview of the movie and an update for Spider-Man: Birth of a Legend and. I don't know if I'm going to record, make a sequel. I might make a sequel. Oh yeah, another thing. I want to be getting gloves so y'all don't see my hands. Just because it kind of makes a bit more sense, you know, since I'm not bleeding fingerprints everywhere. <sighs> but yeah, that's it for now. Also, I want to thank y'all guys for 19 subscribers. I just really wanted to thank y'all. I've been like, hey, my channel's actually growing pretty fast. I was only around like 2 when I first uploaded, but now I'm at, now I'm at 19, thanks to y'all guys, so, thank y'all, 
And um, uh, I don't got anything else for now, so ka-chow.